Again, enough about me. Let's talk about the Bucks and the Chiefs. Uh, America's Game of the Week, 425. It's a great game. Potential, potential Super Bowl matchup. I'm not saying I think it's going to be the Super Bowl matchup, but you can very, uh, can very clearly see a scenario where this is the Super Bowl matchup. Um, so I'm going to be honest with the Tom Brady fans, the Buccaneers fans, and let's just be honest with each other. The real reason outside of the weapons that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have, the real reason that Tom Brady ended up going to Tampa Bay and the NFC was because I think he knows that having to having to get past Patrick Mahomes, especially with what he would have had in New England, uh, get past Patrick Mahomes and get past Lamar Jackson, but more so Patrick Mahomes. Let's, uh, let's not even bring anyone else into this. The fact that he would have to go through Patrick Mahomes to get to the Super Bowl, I don't think he liked uh, that scenario or his chances to make that happen uh, because game recognizes game and Patrick Mahomes is the best in the game right now. Um, Tom Brady might have been the best over a career. Uh, he's definitely the most accomplished, but Patrick Mahomes is the best right now and he already has a Super Bowl. Um, uh, I think in you know 15 years, we'll be looking at Patrick Mahomes if he stays healthy as probably the best of all time. Uh, so Tom, Tom Brady's not stupid. He knows that he would have had to go through that guy to get to the Super Bowl. So he went to the NFC. And, you know, obviously, Cubbert was bare in, bare in New England, not bare in Tampa Bay. It wasn't bare when he showed up, and they keep adding more to it. Uh, the, the Bucks one week they'll look good. I, I, obviously, it depends on the level of competition. One week they'll look good. Next week they won't. Um, this one, they have a, a good defense, but still, I mean, it's Patrick Mahomes. It is Patrick Mahomes, and he is the great equalizer uh, for, for the Chiefs. So I don't think it's going to be an issue. I, I still think he's going to put up you know, 30 points, and the Chiefs' defense isn't great. So Tom Brady might be able to, to make this a shootout. He might be able to make this a shootout. Uh, and the thing I say about every Bucks game is if the Chiefs, you know, Frank Clark, them boys, if they could get a push up front, get Tom Brady uncomfortable, I mean, it's, it's going to be, that's the formula. That's how you beat Tom Brady. Uh, now at his advanced age, I feel like he knows that one good shot could end it all. So he's not trying to take them. So if he's getting rushed, he throws a lot more off his back foot. He doesn't step in two throws uh, if he's staring down a barrel. So I think that's a big thing. Get Tom Brady uncomfortable. He'll be off target more so than usual from a guy like Tom Brady. And uh, that's the path to victory. Big one for the Bucs. They're 7-4. and four. They're losing ground to the Saints and Taysom Hill. So they kind of need to win it. The Chiefs, uh, they have a pretty big lead in their division. And they just avenged their only loss, which happened to be to the Raiders, uh, which is in the division. So the Chiefs don't really need this game as much, um, although they do need it to stay within a game of the Pittsburgh Steelers for that uh, ever so coveted bye. Since there's only one of them this year, they need to be the one seed to get that bye, and they're a game behind the Steelers who haven't lost yet. So uh, it's a big game for them in that sense. But, I mean, their playoff ticket is pretty much stamped. Uh, the Bucks. With the extra wild card team, it's probably also stamped. But still, I mean, they could go on a really bad streak and lose three in a row, and now it's in question. So I think it's more so important for the Bucks than the Chiefs. But with that being said, I think you're not going to stop Patrick Mahomes. And I'm just not sure, depending on how the defensive line for the Chiefs make it for Tom Brady, I don't know if he could keep up. Uh, it's going to be whoever makes... Uh, I feel like it's going to be whoever makes the, the, the mistake later in the game. And you don't really see Tom Brady doing that, but you also don't see Patrick Mahomes doing that. So I'm just going to go with the guy who's uh, currently more talented and can do more with less. And if things break down, can make something happen, and that's Patrick Mahomes. So I think the Chiefs get it done, and I think the Bucks are going to lose two in a row for the first time this year.